There are three of you guys out there who have not joined my website, and I know who the hell you are, and I know where you are. Get on the website, join that shit. It's 10 bucks a month, and I verify all your SEAL claims for free. And I'll tell you what else I'm going to do. I'm going to send you a Waffle House koozie. Somebody gave me a bunch of these things. you got to buy your own rum, man. <laughs> I mean, like I said, we can pursue this nicely and talk a lot of it, or... I can pursue legal matters because since they found it, and you're only hearing one side of the story, not uh, hearing the other side, and you already posted it when I was in prison, so technically you're already in a breach of defamation and also slander. And also, since you didn't do your journalism right properly, you also broke the constitutional rights of freedom of press. Oh. I thought my so, journalism was the fact that I was a SEAL and you were not. And, uh, okay, so... Just calling a liar a liar. Come on, give... Zena, come, come, give, 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 no, 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 Zena, give me that bird, no, give, give, give it, <laughs> you gotta love the desire, let's be honest, there are other guys out there that expose military fakes, frauds, and phonies, but they all suck, a D to them is a passing grade, here, you're getting the original guy. The guy that just evolves, evolves, and evolves. And where else are you going to get a guy like me, a never before, ever done, ever, get a phony Navy SEAL on the phone who tells me how to expose phony Navy SEALs? Just go ahead and say nowhere. Go ahead. Just say it. So Charlie just tells me you were you guys were at a counter up there and you walked up and just blurted that you were a frog man. How does that work? I thought you kept that kind of low. Nah, hell no. If the seal doesn't tell you he's a seal in 12 seconds, first 12 seconds, he's not a seal. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of guys uh, that falsely claim to be seals. Yeah. You, you know well, that? First thing, first thing you do is ask them their budge class. Oh, yeah? If they don't spit it out, then... You know, oh, what was your buds? Oh, well, let me do it to you then. What was your buds class? One twelve. One twelve. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what do you uh, what do you ask them next? I just figured out just a minute ago. The only problem I have with this lockdown is with her not going anywhere because I can't secret drink anymore. <laughs> If you caught me any day of the week, you would never know I'd been drinking. Shit! Yeah, because I don't look for a lampshade, you know, and I'm not all <laughs> loud, falling all over the floor. But uh, I can't pull an ice cube out of there without her hearing it. She's got <laughs> bat hearing, and she's down on me for uh, drinking, so... I just don't know why you just don't have a cup of coffee. I drink coffee all day. <laughs> I am the only guy, only one, who can convince a phony SEAL that I'm going to help him sell his bullshit blowjob SEAL book by putting him on my radio show and getting him an interview live. And he <laughs> takes the bait. I'm going to uh, do this as a radio show and interview, uh, interview him live on this show, but it's, it's, it's just me here. We'll see uh, how... Goofy, that son of a bitch is. Hello? John, stand by, bro. Stand by, please. Welcome back, ESE listeners, uh, to the bottom of the show. Your host, Don Juan Capistron. The current temperature is a balmy 51, overcast with rain. Winds northeast at 10 knots. And we have a special guest today, John Oswald. Uh, I hope I said that right. He uh, is the author of the book called Beckett. And one of you listeners uh, said we ought to get him on. So I don't disappoint. We've got him. And I believe you're in California. Is that right, John? Yes, sir. Watch it. Watch it. Fetch it. Good girl. Come. Come, good girl. 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 Ha, ha, ha. Stay. Stay, Zena. Zena, stay. Zena, stay. 
Gina, Gina. I like Elmer Fudd. Get ready, get ready. Take him. I got it. We got them both. Fetch. God, Steph, you got one, I got one. And if you can stand it, if you can stand to hear one more phony say, it's classified, I can't tell you, you're in good company with me. Somehow I'm able to endure it when most people aren't and, and keep a gun out of my mouth, keep me from brushing my teeth with a pistol. The amount of bullshit these guys spew. Spew! Spew. Once you go into the SOG, you're eliminated. I don't even have a mortgage. It's all in my voice name. I don't exist. I have an Amazon credit card and I have another credit card. Beyond that, and my social security number, I don't exist. Um, it's been so bad. Listen, there's some classified information that I haven't shared with uh, Red and the rest of them. Nah. And I was, uh, uh, I disobeyed a direct order from a, a, on rolling into into a situation and people were killed none of us were but there were there were men down and because of that i've been blackballed and struck stri stricken from records and disappearing and I'm, I'm i'm really just a ghost all his background of uh seal cia dea nsa he uh, said to me and uh all this stuff and he works in a vape shop I don't know what the hell that is, but I didn't order that shit. It's a dragon. Here's your stuff. Yummy! You see any chopsticks? You're kidding me. You fucking clowns. What a bunch of fucking morons. Okay, you had another little bag. I did. It's right there. You're gonna have what to go in. What a bunch in. of fucking morons. You don't fucking motherfuckers, man. Motherfucking stupid fuck. Look at this guy beat me to it. All right, motherfucker, I'm pissed now. All right, we're gonna brush your teeth. And when we do it, I'm gonna sing a song. When the song's over, we'll be done. You ready? Yeah. Down in the jungles of Vietnam. Down in the mud where the blood and guts run. Seal one was there, they'll tell you right. They gave Charlie Kong one hell of a fight. So uh, the first one is uh, me finding a turtle out here, me and Zena, uh, with a turtle out in the yard that I sent to him. And the next one, he asked me, is that a snapping turtle? And then me being a funny guy, I replied back to him about it not being a snapping turtle. And then his reply back is, uh, yeah, he's not happy with me. Whew. Dana, leave that damn turtle alone. That turtle's busting at the seam trying to dump those uh, eggs out, and now she can't. Is that a Santa turtle? Hi, Remington. I saw the question you asked about the turtle. Is it a snapping turtle? And no, it's not. It's just a regular stinking st stupid turtle. A stinking stupid regular turtle. It's not a snapping turtle, you st stupid little boy. Why isn't he being nice? Cause he he called me. He calls me. He. I call not a sound portable. Patterson call me stupid. You're not stupid. But Pat, but Pat said that. Well, that was mean. But Pat, I'm gonna come with a knife. You're gonna cut Pap with a knife? He has a big knife. Oh, that's not nice. But I don't like Pat to say bad words. I don't like Pat to say bad words either. But Pat says. My, I, I am stupid. Pat says that. 
And I'm kind of with a knife. A big knife. <laughs> Uh, it was about me posting, uh, he sent me a pretty threatening email about me posting you up as being a fake. Oh, hi. Hi. What can I do for you? Well, is this the guy with the, that posted me about the Naveen and ACL? Yes. Okay, so, um... <clears throat> after years of doing this and hundreds of these clowns I've gone after on the phone and got them, they all fucking know me. They all know me. I don't need to go into classifications. I don't need to have, have to go into a classified operation or explain one to you so you can verify that if you have the resources to verify that. I know who I'm dealing with as far as Shipley. I know who I'm dealing with as far as who's erasing what. And I really don't care about it. Yep, my name's Don Shipley. I just, if I need to make a correction, you're off there a little bit on that. that yeah, the, I, know, I know who you are. Yep. So do I need to make a correction up here? Are we, uh, you're sticking to that seal story or no? Occasionally there's one that doesn't, but he gets an education real quick at who the fuck I am and what I do. By the way. I, I just told you, it's Don Shipley. Don Shipley? Oh my God, that's how dumb, dumb you are. You're the only phony seal that doesn't know who I am. No. When Greg comes over, Greg makes us dove... Um, wrapped in bacon on the grill, and we don't even have to use a knife. We just take our thumbs and slide right underneath that meat, and the meat comes right off. Hello, hi, and welcome to another exciting edition of In the Kitchen with Don and Greg. Never mind who that guy is. We are doing uh, cat shit steaks uh, tonight. Those are looking good, aren't they? No, they're clumping, I'm afraid. Well, let, let go a little bit, let them work. No, that's clumping. Now you're clumping. Now you're clumping. Now you're clumping. Now you're clumping. It, it ain't like a... What? Well. Navy Cross, Silver Star, Regional Merit, Rock and Star, uh, Distinguished Flying Cross, Purple Heart, Expeditionary Joint, I also get threatened a lot by phony Navy SEALs, and Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't give a shit. I will just grab you right by the fucking throat and slap that fucking thing on your and I'll grind your fucking head and split your fucking brains out. Interview me personally that time that you posted it. If you did not interview me as a journalism credentials and also you being in the military should know that you violated the legal statutes and also the federal statutes of not doing your journalism rights because I'm in college right now for journalism. And that's one of the first clean classes in basic training of journalism class of making sure your facts are straight before you post anything. Oh, well, I think I got my stuff straight when you're praying around in that uniform, saluting. Uh, and you went a little bit above and beyond. Okay, well, so I'll tell you what, here's what we'll do. Okay, well, Why don't you send me that, uh, yeah, good for you, good for you. One of my uh, listeners has a question up here. He's a bit of what I would maybe call a gun nut. He wanted to know if you had ever shot a dragger. A what? A dragger. I got shot uh, in 92. I was walking back to my hotel in Florida and two kids shot me, robbed me. All I got was my meatloaf sandwich. I got one of them in the head with a rock, but uh, they shot me first. Didn't even give me a chance. Uh, nothing. They just pulled the pistol and started shooting. My God. Even Bernsky, Bernsky, our medic, our corpsman, uh, that we adopted into the, we call it the family, she couldn't bring him back. Oh my. She's like, no, he's, he's done. Oh my. So hop on the video website and have a look around. You guys know what happened to me on YouTube here. I'm not posting that shit up on YouTube anymore, but they are there for all eternity and you guys can check them out. Join for a month, cancel the subscription, circle back around a few months later and see what else I got. Plus you got all this stuff with me, Diane, all the, God damn it. 
Plus, you got all this stuff of me, Diane, the charity, the retrievers, the ducks, the geese, the just, the just, the just, the just, the cooking. Are you kidding me? Me cooking? Are you kidding me? Come on. Come on, man. We do a whole lot more than just bust phony seals. It's the best 10 bucks you'll ever spend. Right there. I'll see you guys. Thanks a lot. Cheers. So, uh, thanks. Thanks for being on the show with Don Juan Capistron. It's a balmy 51 degrees here. Overcast. Winds at 10 knots out of the northeast. I'll see you, bro. Leave me alone. I'm not taking down my life's work. No, don't worry. You won't hear anything else from me. Take it easy, man. I'll see you. Good. Bless you. Bless you, you too.